Welcome to Inside AIML. In today's demo session we are going to see very interesting topic not only interesting but also very important topic that is chatbot. In this session we are going to see the creation of chatbot by using Flask. Why chatbot are important? Having a conversation between human and machine is not a small matter. That too this interaction happens in natural language. Nowadays human are using this chatbot to accomplish their tasks in easy way and efficient manner. However, from a technological point of view, a chatbot only represents the natural evolution of a question answering system leveraging natural language processing (NLP). Sending responses to questions in natural language is one of the most typical examples of natural language processing applied in various enterprises and use applications. If we see chatbot is not a new technology, this concept of chatbot has developed in the year 1966 called Eliza and it is developed by Joseph. If we want to dive deep about chatbots, like we can further classify chatbots into two types, one is auditory and the second is textual method. If we take examples auditory comes for Google Assistant, whereas website chatbot comes for textual method. This chatbot works as a real world conversation partner. Still if you're having any doubt, let me give you an example so that it will be very familiar for you all people to get a clear idea. Nowadays, customers can order their food without making a single phone call. All thanks to chatbots. A few buttons start, choose what you want, enter the address and done. Domino's Pizza Bot lives in Facebook Messenger. That means that customers can place orders from different devices. Domino's Bot remembers members order history so reordering is possible. This chatbot can also track orders and estimate their time of delivery. Chatbot used for customer service, convenient food ordering. This is the example for simple chatbot. Till now we have seen the example of chatbot. Now talking about the evolution of chatbot. If we dive deep we will see the evolution of chatbot. So, Boshley I like to talk in percentages format 35 to 40% of human work can be done by chatbot. 35 to 40% is not a small number. If you want to implement this chatbot, we should learn some familiar technologies like data science, which includes machine learning, natural language processing, deep learning as these technologies are emerging into the market and having highlight response and as a aspiring data scientist, we should learn all these technologies and keep ourselves updated. So, again if we go back to the topics of chatbot We can categorize these chatbots into two types on is self-learning and the other is rule-based chatbot. First we will see about self-learning chatbot. Self-learning chatbot uses machine learning and artificial intelligence algorithms to save input that comes from the user where it is stored in database. So, the data which is stored in database helps to learn itself. So, chatbot learns by self and been given answers in the future. And the second type is rule-based chatbot, which is followed rules and regulations which is created by the algorithm. Till now we discussed about chatbot and hope you are clear about what chatbot is. Our session agenda is to create chatbot biasing flask. By this time you will have very much eager to learn the chatbots how to create a chatbot. So, first let me show you the example so that you will be having more interest to learn these kind of new technology which are emerging into the market. First let me show you the output of this chatbot. Okay here I am opening my Google Chrome where my chatbot is. So, I am saying good morning to my chatbot. Let's see what it is going to reply. Hi it gives good morning and we will ask at breakfast. I am not human, I just consume electricity. Oh my god it is giving me really terrific answer. Now immediately we have to learn how to create a chatbot to get such kind of answers. Let's jump into the code session where we can see how to learn chatbot in depth. Now, let's start with code directly. Before going into the code session, first we will see the structure how I have been implemented in this chatbot. First I created a bot folder. So in this bot folder, I have created app.py file where it contains flask code. So, in this app.py file our heart of the flask code has been implemented. If you are very new to the flask don't worry, I will be giving you in clear explanation end to end on this flask. In the same floater create another three different folders that is data static and templates. Where in templates, we will have index file. Here index is an HTML formatted file. Why HTML file is here? Just give me some time so that I can explain you clearly. And next in static folder create style.css file and in data folder create data.yml file should be created. 
This is the structure of the folder that been implemented in this chatbot. Let me explain you once again. Bot is a parent folder. Under bot we are having data, static and templates folders. In data we are having data.yml file and static we have style.css and in template folder we are having index.html. In bot folder we are having app.py file where flask code has written. Next we will have a look over index.html file. This index.html file if you are new to html don't worry. I have overview of this html and this is css it means cascading style sheets. Let me close the folders here. First I will be explaining you app.py file. If you want to create a chatterbot we need a library that is chatterbot. To install a chatterbot we need to type a command that is pip install chatterbot in your command prompt. After this installation we have to import the chatterbot.so how to import This is the code from chatterbot import chatbot from chatterbot.trainers import chatbot. These two are the lines we should use for chatterbot and chatbot trainer. We should use flask because here we are getting some responses and sending back to the server. To handle such kind of situations we need flask. Flask is a micro framework. From flask we are importing flask render template a and request. Render template a and request will be explaining you later once we start dealing with code. I hope that these three lines are clear for you. This piece of code says that like underscore name underscore this clearly says that I am creating an object with a name app. Which allows the system to identify that I am having an object with a name app. We are creating an English bot. Now I am having in Chatterbot. We need space to store a piece of data. So this Sotrage adapter helps me to store the user input where it can learn self. Here we are create self learning chatbot. This SQL storage adapter stores the user given data and it learns based on the inputs which were given by the user. From this chatbot, I have given a name that is English chatbot. The trainer where it has been trained with Chatterbot Corpus trainer that is English chatterbot. I am training bot on English where I am storing data in this particular location. I started training my chatterbot.corpus.english. In English I am having multiple topics or conversations like health, sports, food, electricity, computer, s pause second equal 0, 70 pause. These are the multiple topics having in chatterbot.corpus.english. So, all these topics I have been trained by using trainer. Not only that I have created one data.yml file. I have created one more file explicitly. Whatever I want to convey with my chatbot, I have coded there and given in a sepsif format that is yml format in my data folder. Let's jump into the data folder. Here I am giving the categories. That categories will be converged with conversation. Here I give a name of my category. My on may of category is conversations. So in this conversations, I am giving to the system some predefined task or code. The most important thing to remember is there is a specific format for this. Why am a format first here after creating categories? We should give some space again. Space conversation sand ladder on conversations again. Give space agian. Good morning. If we give two spaces, that implies user input. If we give single, that implies bot output. All these two says that it is in user input single. Sia that is bot output. This is the specific format that why am a file should have. Now you should have clear idea about why am a file and half part of app dot py file. Let's continue the remaining part to learn. Now we are routing to the web browser BQs everything we are going to deal like giving input and output only by using web browser. So there should be some intersection between our terminal and browser. So to make that intersection I am using an app.routy. This helps me to route the data from one point to other point. For this I am creating a function that is home. In this home I am using render template. Now what is this render underscore template? We got time to learn. This render underscore template helps to send content to the HTML file. So from here it send data to HTML file. Got it. Again we should get some output or response. That is bot response. That is the reason why I have created another route that is get. Where I created one more function that is get underscore bot underscore response. In this I used a variable name user text which requests some messages from the HTML. Here I have been creating some requests which generate some messages by using this English bot. How this been routed from the HTML file will be seen now. So let me open this HTML file. If you don't know anything about HTML no need to worry. As a data scientist there is no mandatory to learn HTML CSS but we should understand the code which have been given to us. Let me expel in you these are HTML tags head body or defenerate tags available in HTML. Let me focus majorly on the part for the chatbot. Everything is needed but let me focus on the deep part. So this is the heading I am giving here a web implementation URL link and can see in the output window. For chatbot we can find the hyperlink. If we click on that It will navigate to other tab. This particular part belongs to that, and I have created on ID chatbot by using division tag. In this ID, I just given hi, I'm chatterbot. 
which you can see here. This is the default one that gets when I open the chatbot. And then here, division starts. How it is I improving let me show. The ID just am user input. Here I give an ID text input where I am taking input from the browser. This two parts impulse here. We'll see in the output. Then main function or script starts. Get underscore bot underscore response and the variable raw text we are taking raw text. In JavaScript, we use symbol to accept input. Here we are taking the text input. This name should be same. This text input I am taking and to which we are taking is the main point. We are taking to the raw text, user hail tag is placed, that is in this part of the code. Here I am trying to append my chatterbox with user. Nightland other thing to remember is this get element by ID is one attribute I am using, where these two thing must be matched by the ID. That is division 1.d. And parameter that we give here. Always we should mention that blog, should start and behavior should be smooth. The same code replicates here. These two lines of code main code plays here. That is it takes from HTML page to app.py file. This is how chatbot works in real time. YAML files plays an important role to learn for the chatbot. Let me show you predefined files also. These are the predefined files. YAML files I bought profile computers greeting many more. This is how intersection of chatbot been developed. Let me try different question what is computer sometimes it gives irrelevant answers. What is basketball what is I by seeing all these thing you feel that chatbot is very easy. Now we can update this chatbot from textual format to audio format. In this updation we require deep learning knowledge. I hope you will step into deep learning sessions where we can learn a lot. Thanks for joining my session. This source code will be shared you by the link in the description. Very thanks for joining the session. Have a great day.